All right, so, Jeremy Shada, welcome to SAC Anime. How have you been enjoying it so far? Uh, good. It's been signing and big panels the whole time since I've been here, so just kind of running ragged, but it's fun. All right. So, I guess we'll start with the basic questions that they ask everyone for the sake of, hey, we got some good quotes going on here. So, I guess what is it that first brought you into voice acting and Adventure Time? Um, well, I started voice acting when I was... Jeez, when I was like nine or ten or something like that, I was really little. And um, eventually, uh, I got the call and auditioned for Adventure Time through my agent, and I looked it up. And uh, my brother Zach had actually done the original pilot for it uh, as the same character like three years before it came to Cartoon Network. And so um, I was like, wow, my voice sounds just like his when he did it. And then I kind of copied it a little bit even more. And I auditioned, went back a couple times, and um, then I got the part. And when I went in to record the first episode, Nobody except for the creator knew that I was even his younger brother. They just thought I sounded incredibly like the uh, original character. Uh, well, speaking of voices, I've had some people uh, notice that uh, as the show goes on and uh, you get older, Finn gets older, uh, his voice has been changing uh, with the show. Is that intentional or just something that's been happening? Um, I think it's a little bit both, actually, because throughout like the first season, you can kind of hear my voice changing a little bit because my voice, I didn't have a voice change. Uh, since then, it's kind of leveled out a little bit more. Um, I really turned into a character voice. So, uh, for the past since like season two through like season five or six now, um, it's been pretty even. But we um, we have been aging up the character to kind of give a cool uh, story arc to the whole show and kind of show him maturing, going through different things, which I think is really cool because you don't see that a whole lot in animation. Yeah, that's something that Adventure Time has done that I don't see many shows do at all, uh, animated or otherwise. It's the fact that it has been doing that and has been doing it in such a subtle but noticeable way is very impressive for the show itself. All right, now, I guess if we're talking about Adventure Time, what is it about the Land of Vu and all the characters in it, especially Finn, that uh, gets you just drawn into it and makes you want to be a part of this? It's just freaking crazy. It's fun. <laughs> I mean, the, the, whole, the whole style of the show, the animation style, is very colorful and vibrant and bright. It's really fun. And then there's a lot of awesome humor, a lot of over-the-head humor that even little kids won't understand. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff there for little kids, and there's, like, over the course of the later seasons, we've been having kind of darker, uh, kind of cool story arcs and a lot of just awesome stuff. It's just, it's super fun, super fun to be a part of. I get to work with some of the best uh, voice actors in the business, so that's always really fun. All right, so I guess tell us a little about the people that you work with. Um, what's it like getting to act alongside uh, John DiMaggio? It's a roller coaster. That dude's a riot. I mean... In between takes, I'll be just rattling off different funny, crazy voices and stuff. And uh, whenever we're going to a, a con or something together, he's just a great guy to be around. He's super nice. It's been cool to have uh, a, just a really cool kind of fun brother type relationship in real life. And two, uh, you kind of see the chemistry that we have in real life kind of translate into the show over time, too. Right. Now, one of the things that I really like about Adventure Time is the music that it's got. Mm -hmm. uh, and... You've got some great songs in there yourself. Have you had any uh, vocal training before? Have you done singing before? Or is it just something that you had to do with the show? Uh, I did some... Uh, I, I do sing. Uh, I had done a little bit uh, of kind of vocal training and stuff before the show. And then it was just kind of an impromptu thing when we got onto the show. They were like, oh, we're doing a couple songs. I was like, okay. So um, that just kind of evolved. And the, uh, the singing and the song style on the show is very different than like what I would do in real life because it's supposed to be kind of emotional or whenever there's a song it's usually kind of like an on-the-spot thing for the character so they kind of make it sound very real and kind of gritty so it's always kind of cool or hilarious like the Baby Finn song. Can I sing something with you? Uh, sure. <laughs> I, uh, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly -diddly. There they all are standing in there. Oh my gosh, Lion King, dude. That's one of my favorite <laughs> animated movies when I was a kid. Lion King 5. <laughs> Okay, gonna check that one off the bucket list. <laughs> All right then, that blinking tells me that I'm running out of batteries, so thank you again for your time. Thanks for I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at Sack Anime. Nice to meet you. you as well.